guys, welcome to the Breakfast Club. My name is Bright Over the past few days, we've been talking about elections, elections, and elections. Remember, we went to the Nomshin Court, candidates filed their, their, their applications to the Nomshin Court. But today on the show, we bring something different. A way young students from St. Columbus are innovative and are going digital about their magazine. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. Today, I'm joined by St. Columbus students. Comrades, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Briefly, tell me your role in this magazine. What do you do in this magazine? Well, in this magazine, I am the projects manager, meaning that the projects that we do in the school for the magazine, for the school, are run through first by me. Yes, I'm the one who brings the ideas on what to do and how to improve our, ma our magazine. Maybe give me one thematic area or idea that we've come up with or developed this magazine. The magazine, for example. Like our media club had been inactive for a while and I saw that we needed a magazine and I suggested the thing, and now we have um, first ever school magazine. Right. Chief, this is the first ever school magazine from St. Columbus. How do you feel about that, having this magazine for the first time in a stream with one guy coming up with this magazine? How do you feel about that? Um, I'm very confident, actually. I feel confident about the magazine. We feel like uh, it's actually going to impact a whole lot of young people all over Zimbabwe. Talk of young people, you know, in Zimbabwe right now, there's been this issue of alcohol and substance abuse in Zimbabwe. In particular, Bulawa, you saw the mention of Vuzu parties. You go by agents like see young people there, actually, alcohol and drug abuse. Let's talk about that. How are the magazine is going to tackle the issue of alcohol and drug abuse in Zimbabwe? Well, the magazine sets out to reach Abantu Bonke, right? Not only is it for the school, but it's also for everyone. So if the young people manage to get their hands on the magazine, they are made aware of the effects and the consequences of drug abuse. Do you want to add something? Yeah, for sure. Um, we realize that uh, most people may not be able to actually like read the magazine, but uh, if one person just manages to read the magazine, one person can influence a whole other many people, a whole other multiples of other people. So yes. But do you think young people, in terms of those school going age, are aware of the consequences of alcohol and drug abuse in Zimbabwe to their lives? To the, are they aware of the consequences though? Many might be but then they are reluctant. And it's funny because each generation here too, we, we, we believe things by seeing them. Meaning, for people to start seeing normal, this is not good for us. So I, they should see it. Like the magazine will help actually, they will, it will help them actually realize the consequences of it. You are the ones who come, come up with ideas, right? So what's your plan in terms of distribution of this magazine to all these kids out there in Zimbabwe? How are they going to reach out to get this magazine? Our magazine is online, isn't it? So we can post it online so that anyone can access it on any social media platform. But then as for the hard copies, well, we'll do a bit of fundraising on those ones so that we also get something maybe to do other future projects. Then bring me back to the conversation say, around the issue of uh, alcohol and drug abuse. Yes. I'm sure you've experienced this first-hand experience at school or seeing other kids drinking alcohol and so on and so on. How, what's your experience there, issues of alcohol and drug abuse? Well, uh, with the issues of uh, alcohol and drug abuse, well, it's not really a, a sightly scene. You know, it's not nice seeing other children throw away their futures just like that, all for just a temporary feeling of just, you know, being under the influence of drugs. But um, I feel like uh, this magazine is really going to assist us in helping us spread the message to every other children, children, every other kid out there in the world. You spoke about each of digital innovation. Let's talk about innovation in terms of your age now, your scholar now, people are using our phones, each of ICT, digital innovation. How important is digitalizing our items in terms of magazines online? How important is digitalization of these magazines? Well, we have to move with the times, right? So in modernization, EOS is related to this point whereby we can now use a digital platform to put out our message. And I can really say it's, it's a really vital object or gadget and within our reach that we can use to put out our message. To a young person watching the show right now, what can you say to them around the issue of alcohol and substance abuse in Zimbabwe? Um, drugs are not going to help you with anything. Just please keep away, keep away from drugs. Stay on you, stay in school. Just try to study hard and make your life better. That's all I can say. What can you say, sir? It's not the end of the world. Find someone to talk to. And you see that many people are using drugs because they have issues. 
or everyone has issues and find someone to talk to if you can't find someone just go to a friend cry you don't have to tell them anything but just find another way to deal with whatever you're dealing with instead of using drugs because it's a downhill mm -hmm. thanks so much for your time this morning thank oh, I you appreciate it. i appreciate it Still talk about the magazine this morning. One of the thematic areas covered in this magazine focuses more on digital innovation, issue of intelligence, artificial intelligence, and also issue of cyberbullying. So now joining in me, another group of students to unpack that now. Let's talk about artificial intelligence now. How important is this in terms of uh, development? Uh, my name is Tawna Sikir. I am the social manager and the designer at the St. Columbus Media Club. And I want to talk more on at artificial intelligence. I feel like the artificial intelligence is very important when you look at the future. It's helping a lot of people. Most people are paranoid about it. Most people think it's come here to replace jobs, but that's not what it's for. It could replace you, but replacing you would only come if you do not learn to utilize it. I think you should give yourself time to learn how to utilize it. To make your job a lot easier, artificial intelligence can automate a lot of things. It can help you write in writing an article. It can help you in writing articles, it can help you in a lot of things, it can help you writing your projects. If you're a developer, photography, art, it, it helps in a lot of things and I feel like people should learn to use that more. Thanks so much Tawana for raising that. Let me come to you Chelsea on the issue of cyberbullying happening in schools. What's your first hand experience in terms of cyberbullying? Um, I think cyberbullying really, it has a really deep impact on the youth of nowadays. I mean cyberbullying could really push you to the edge. It causes depression, anxiety, and so many mental illnesses that not peop not many people know about it, but it really has a great impact. You'll find out there are so many people that are going through the worst, and on top of that, you add cyberbullying, and it just it's just so painful, and it hurts to see someone going through something like that because of someone else. It's it's, it's really not nice. Yeah, but also, do, do you feel like our parents know, because now I'm part of your generation as well, mm -hmm. Do you feel like our parents know about issues of mental health, depression? Oh, I'm going through things. Do they think they understand these things? Personally, I know they've heard of them, yeah. but they turn a blind eye to it. You realize that um, you can tell your parents or anyone exactly, anyone who's not in our generation, right? And they know that this thing is there, but they don't think that it's as serious as it is. They turn a blind eye to it because in their generation, probably it wasn't this serious, and they think it's a minor issue, but it can do so much more. Let me go to, back to Tawana on the issue of the technical side of the magazine, right? You are the one, what's your role in the magazine in terms of what are you playing, the role played in the magazine? Oh, uh, I help make the website for it. I'm helping with a lot of the design aspects, and I'm also the one managing the socials. So my role is more technical than anything. Anything to do with technology, I am very hands-on on it, and I want to engage more on it. Mm, so they expect this magazine, right? Yeah. Let's talk about the issue of data price. You know, Zimbabwe data prices are very high in Zimbabwe. Yeah. What challenges did you do face in terms of coming up with design, layout, and thinking of the technical side of it? The challenges that you faced? Um, with that, I was concerned about optimizing the site. What, what is it. optimizing? Optimizing, I'm uh, making it run better, making it more accessible to people because most people don't have high end phones. So if I try to put too much on the site, you can notice that you can try loading some sites on the web, but they don't load. Some of them are just too heavy for phones and it makes an unbearable experience. So what I was trying to do was I tried keeping the site as minimalistic as possible and as accessible to anyone who wants to use it. And also this site doesn't use up much, data, much of your data. The magazines are very small and they're easy to download. They can be shared as well. Mm -hmm. One person downloads and they can share with whoever they want. Mm -hmm. It's not really a challenge. Right, Chelsea, you had him speaking about the issues of uh, facing the technical side of it. Right, how are you going to use this magazine now to spread the word about issues of cyberbullying happening in schools? So I think it's like we're moving into a technological era, right? And most people have their faces glued to their screens. The moment um, you find something that's interesting, you want to go through it. So hopefully there are some people out there who have the heart to actually go through it. And the moment you see that article on cyberbullying, and I know we know people who have gone through that, or maybe you have gone through it, you actually feel better and you'll be able to spread the word. So putting it into a technological form is actually making things better for everyone else to receive it easier. Because the thing is, the youth of nowadays actually hate hard copy books in as much as they are also useful. 
but the fact that we're in a technological era makes it easier for people to access them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the youth in our generation, we broke the things, we hardly speak out, right? Even if we're going through a lot of things that happen in school, cyberbullying, whatever happened in school, we broke the things that don't speak out. Do you guys feel like we have a space or platform, a safe space to speak out, Tawana? Uh, I feel like as, when it comes to safe spaces, it's really hard to find one. And I think the biggest problem with spa most spaces is that they require you to expose yourself, to really give out your name. And most people do not feel safe about that. So as the Media Club, I think we want to work on a project, a project whereby we can create a sort of safe space for people to discuss their problems. With people going through the same problems, teenagers going through the same problems, where they can feel safe, a non-toxic environment. An environment where they don't have to ask for each other's names or make it mandatory so that someone with problems does not have to feel exposed. Mm -hmm. Technically, if someone wants to help you, how can they help you in terms of technical side? If somebody wants to help me, how can they help me? Um, I feel like um, to get this, people want to... Really, I feel like there are tons of experts in this field. Experts that have a lot to learn from. And um, these experts aren't really easy to get to. Some of us do have the connection some of us do know how to get to them but not everyone does so i think we want to make a way to really make this accessible for everyone mm -hmm. chelsea your closing words in terms of what can you say to other students watching the show today around the issue of cyberbullying and their health depression i personally want to say that cyberbullying leads to depression and anxiety it leads to a really painful space a really hard space to get out of and i just want to say that people out there should have Put people, put themselves in someone else's shoes. Think of what they can do to them. Think if we, what you would do if someone did that to you. Think of the effects and change yourself. Be a better version of yourself to make someone else a better version of themselves too. Thank you so much, guys, for your time this morning. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure. This magazine is one of the historic magazines launched by St. Columbus this coming Friday. It's going to be tackling different issues around school, to school students in Bolai. So joining me now is Ropa as well as Angel to unpack more about this magazine. Ropa, start with you. What's your role in this magazine? I'm the editor-in-chief of the Media Club, uh, also the president of the Media Club, and I'm also the photographer uh, for the school, not just the Media Club, but for the school. So... Uh, St. Columbus Mail is uh, one of the, is in fact the first magazine to be launched at St. Columbus. Uh, this magazine is targeting uh, the youth uh, and even adults that have been affected uh, with issues to do with mental health, uh, uh, cyberbullying, and suicide. Yeah. I am the magazine organizer of the St. Columbus Media Club. Well, I'll just tell you and add on to what Rob has said concerning the school magazine. The school magazine also has contents about health. It also has contents about devotion. It has contents about nutrition. And it also has contents about our alumni, the former students of San Columbus and what they've done. And that is done so that it inspires us. But let's look at the issue of this come up with this magazine. It's the first magazine to be launched in Columbus, right? Yes. What inspired you to come up with this magazine? Uh, well, if you get to a combi or any bus, you find everyone on their phones. Mm -hmm. Ask them what they are doing. Uh, people are reading novels. People are reading newspapers. Uh, different things. Everything is becoming digital. So having issues uh, in the province of Blawayo and also in Zimbabwe, issues to do with drugs and substance abuse, uh, we realized that we can create a magazine since everyone is actually reading newspapers online, newspapers on WhatsApp, anything is now digital. So what inspired us uh, is that we realized that the youth are dying, people are dying because of bullying, people are killing themselves because of uh, maybe cyberbullying and things that are happening around them. So this magazine it is an uh, interactive journal that seeks uh, to achieve uh, that every student must have knowledge about life uh, and also about how to uh, relieve themselves from depression. So basically that's what inspired us. 
Angel, on the issue of, you had your peers speaking about the issue of the themes, cyberbullying there, part of the magazine, the issue of uh, alcohol, and, uh, alcohol and drug abuse happening in Bulawa. Mm -hmm. Again, Bulawa is prominent about issue of Vuzu parties. Mm -hmm. How is this magazine going to cover someone from Zeligazi, someone from Louvre, someone from Kautrbach, a student? How are they going to be educated around this by this magazine? All right, so before I answer, sir, I can just say, um, Sometimes we ask ourselves what has become of our generation, wounds, scars, tears falling on blind and deaf ears and eyes. So we see that there is a need that these children all around Willowayo are educated about these things. So what's going to happen is that I see the school magazine and I tell a friend to look for it because nowadays the things that are happening, it's just fast, especially for our youth and teenagers. There's also a form of good peer pressure. So you can actually pressurize someone to look for the school magazine for San Columbus. Then when you do, the person reads that school magazine and when they read that school magazine, it actually helps them. Yes. Let me go to Ropa around the issue of the launch of this magazine. This Friday, we're going to be launching the magazine. Yes. As the president, what are the challenges that we're facing in coming, building up to Friday to launch of this magazine? Challenges that we're facing? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of challenges uh, externally and even internally. Uh, externally, I would rather start externally. Uh, our sponsors, uh, some of them did not respond. So we really needed a certain amount so that uh, we launch this magazine we create copies for those who might not have access to internet so we are still looking for more sponsors uh, even this week uh, those who would like to sponsor us with any amount uh, they could get in touch uh, with us or visit St. Columbus High School in Makokowa. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those are the issues that we'll face. Then, as for internally, yeah, some people like part of the media club and also telling people that you are coming up with a magazine. You know, it's the first magazine. It's not like there was another one before. So people will be like, how oh, are you going to do this? You know, so we've faced those challenges. But uh, we want to thank uh, the Youth Innovation Hub uh, in partnership with the Modi Foundation and Jewel Code Technologies that actually helped us and taught us how to create uh, the magazine uh, and more details to, to do with media and photography. Yeah. I like to bring solution-based journalism, right? Come up with solutions, uh, Angel. To say, you said certain amount. How much do you want in terms of coming up with this launch of this magazine? Do you want computers? What do you want in terms of uh, for you guys to have a successful launch of this magazine this coming Friday? What do you want? Anyone can take it? Uh, we want to have uh, different media companies to be present. We also want, uh, a budget. we wrote a budget of about uh, 800 to 1,000 dollars. Uh, then we also want uh, any sponsor who can sponsor us with uh, new equipment. Uh, for now, you can see we actually have one camera, which is not proper for even teaching other students who are there, uh, teaching them photograph with one. So we can't have one photo because everyone like I also want to take pictures. So we are looking for more sponsors that we can actually help us in terms of uh, equipment. And on the launch date, we are looking for uh different media houses uh, that can actually come and tell us more about media and how is it important for schools to also have uh media clubs yeah quite interesting what you're raising there let's come to you angel on the issue of uh your food parties in Bulawayo. as a young girl seeing either your peers walking around drinking alcohol how do you feel about that and what can you say to them who are watching the show this morning okay all i can say is that uh a lot of people have a void within them, especially our youth and teenagers. And that void can only be filled by one person because that person is the meaning of life. The meaning of life is a person, not a principle, and that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. So the thing is that it's him, it's Jesus who brings healing. Smoking weed is only a feeling. And also what I can say to them is that drugs should not be a living. Sexual immorality should not be a lifestyle. Depression shouldn't be a trend, and acceptance shouldn't be a need. Don't be a fine girl without Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. But also, uh, closing from you, Guy, issue of parents, support from parents and also teachers. I know we've worked with parents and teachers. How is the support in terms of supporting this idea, this magazine? On Friday, we're launching a historic magazine, the first ever St. Columbus magazine. How, does, how do parents feel in terms of this, this initiative? 
Uh, I think parents will be really happy that uh, this magazine has been actually created by students uh, having realized uh, issues to do with drugs and substance abuse. Uh, my teacher always say learner to learner is very powerful. So when you, when you create something as students that can actually help other students, it can actually bring impact. So I think parents can be happy. And I also want to thank our admin uh, and our headmaster, Reverend uh, Einube. And we want to thank our club patron, uh, Mr. Tazbona for helping us through this tough journey. Yeah, it's been tough. <laughs> yeah. It's been tough. So I uh, appreciate them so much. Mm. Lastly, how do you balance your education and this magazine? How do you balance? Do you have time to balance? I know you guys are writing, writing classes, right? How do you balance those things? Well, um, the, how I balance education and media club, I discovered that time is very important in life. And if you lose time, you can't recover it. So I have a schedule. So when I'm at school, there are things that I do. And when I'm needed for the media club, there are things that I attend. And when I get home, I have a schedule where I have to study. Because the truth is, if you don't have a schedule, you won't pass and you blame it on the media club, yet you're not managing your time properly. So that is it. One of the integral parts uh, and stakeholders when it comes to this initiative is the role played by teachers. Teachers play a massive role to enrich our students and our pupils and our brothers and sisters at school. So joining me now is a say who's been working with these students at Selec St. Columbus. Well, good morning, so welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Let's talk about your role in terms of working with the students. How has been the journey like? The journey has been quite challenging. It's been tough, that, that, that I wouldn't want to lie. But then we told ourselves that we wanted to have a media club. It's in Columbus High School, a vibrant media club. So therefore, that is what we did. We told ourselves that we're going to have a school magazine. We're going to do other activities like photography, amongst other things that I'm happy that that is quite, um, we're, actually, we're actually doing that, despite that the fact that we are facing challenges here and there. And I'm clear to say that I've got a a team of dedicated students that I'm working with, or as I call, as I like to refer to them as uh, student journalists or student photographers, yeah. and so on, yeah. So this is the historic event that's happening this Friday in Columbus, the first magazine to be launched there. Yes. As a teacher, how do you feel having uh, these student journalists working with you? How do you feel about that uh, in terms of uh, what the ideas they're bringing to you? Yeah. Are you not scared to ah, die? These guys, the ideas they're bringing to me are too much now. How do you feel about that? No, I'm, I'm actually excited. I'm actually excited because um, personally, I'm someone who likes sharing ideas, likes talking about ideas. Yes, some of the ideas have been, I'm like, oh, guys, let's, um, <laughs> let's slow down. But then, but I do actually like the direction that they're taking. Because, I mean, I won't lie to you, these ladies and gentlemen have actually kept me on my toes, and of which, I, of which is actually quite good. So I'm, I'm actually quite excited. So I'm just hoping, praying that this launch will actually, will actually be a success. It's something that we're going to remember in 10, 20, or 30 years' time. How has been the response from the parents as also from the school administration? Sometimes, mm. you know, a uh, response from the parents sometimes is not it's lukewarm sometimes. Yes, but uh, this is a historic event. How has been the response from the parents as also uh, the admin? All right, I think I'll start with the admin. The admin has been very supportive. Right, um, admin led by the by our headmaster, Reverend A.M. Mube, has been very supportive. Other teachers have been... The support that we've basically the support that we've that we've received has been great. It's been great. Then with parents, yeah, it's also it's also, it has also been great. But I think they'll need more information on the media club as as to what is media club all about. Because the media club, I think I would like to say, um, I think very few schools maybe have media clubs. The clubs that were used to, you know, they used to clubs like drama, um, Intara club, Toastmasters. Yeah, it's very rare. Very few schools. I uh, believe that they've got a media club and as such I think they will need to be conscientized as to exactly what a media club is and what it does and what are the benefits the school will reap from having a media club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think the parents, yeah, the parents are coming on board, but at least the cool thing that they're going to be there on Friday being represented by the SDC as well as other parents as well. I had one of the students earlier on saying, Wuti is the photographer for the school, yes. right? How important is this media club to the school and to the community of Bulawayo? Right, the media club is, is, is very, very important. Having a club, having a school photographer, um, because Europa, what Europa does is whenever there are functions, he's the one who's called upon Europa, please come and take photos for us. 
whenever maybe let's say their class photos to be done, he's the one who's usually called. At least that gives him also a chance to learn, at least to grow, at least maybe to be, at least maybe to be um, appreciated. Or, or maybe hopefully, like I once told him, that you'll never know. In future, maybe you'll decide, maybe check up photography as your profession, you see. So hopefully this club also benefits uh, Wulawa as a whole. Mm -hmm. So built up to Friday for the launch of the magazine, what can you expect and what do you want from people maybe to sponsor you with, uh, what can you expect on for, for, for Friday? For Friday, right. On Friday, we expect, um, we still expect sponsors to come and um, put in whatever, put in, uh, whatever they have so that we can, so that our success can, our uh, launch sorry, can be successful. Um, also, like people from the media, from the media to come and uh, cover our event because like i said this is a historic event and um, again we've got we've got our alumni we've got students who are out there who are in america or in england and so on so we also would also like to know more or see the coverage of this uh, of this event but basically we still appeal maybe for donations so that we make it a success Yes. Earlier, when I spoke to some of the students, I was speaking about the issue of the themes, cyberbullying is happening in schools, alcohol and drug abuse is happening in schools, issue of depression and mental health. What can you say to a learner who's watching the show today, saying I'm inspired by these learners who are doing this amazing work? What can you say to someone who's depressed right now, who's a learner? What can you say to them right now? Right, what I can say to him or even her, please talk to someone. Do not bottle up your emotions. Do not keep quiet. Please go and talk to someone. Go and talk to an elder. Go and talk to your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, or even your teacher, your counselor, or even maybe even a, your priest at church. But please talk to someone. Do not bottle up your emotion because if you bottle up, then then things are bad things are going to come to you because such as because are looking at uh, things such as suicide because the rise of suicide at one point in time I think. Whenever you read a newspaper, there are always the stories on suicide, suicide of which it, it, at one point in time you got so. They're so high that uh, basically it was bad. Okay, 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 let me just say that it was bad. So it was now, um, it was now even scary rather. So it was now scary. So what I'll say is, please talk to someone. Don't pull up your emotions. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time this morning. There we have it. This has been the Breakfast Club. My name is Brighton. I was at conversation with the students from St. Columbus and the teacher from St. Columbus. They, they are launching their magazine this coming Friday under the group Media Club. This is going to be an amazing launch. So please enjoy the show and please do enjoy your day. Remember to follow the site and also the media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, as well as Twitter. For myself, Brighton Nube, it's bye for now. <laughs>